Eleanor Martin, partner, Norton Rose Fulbright International Law Firm. Eleanor, here we are at OSJ. I know that you're a long-term attendee, a long-term supporter. How is this year's event different from recent events? It's a lot more upbeat. It's everyone is feeling really optimistic. You can really feel it in the room. Um, projects are coming back. There are new deals to be done. So yeah, it's a, it's a very exciting conference to be at at this point in time. Certainly the mood is upbeat. Certainly the perspective is optimistic, but the extent to which a company can participate in that is obviously dependent on what's been going on before the market turns. And I know that you've been involved in some very interesting restructuring work to that end. That's exactly right. So what we've seen happen is really a number of the offshore service vessel companies try and just get their house in order. They've had to go through difficult times, restructuring of balance sheets, really to come at it and be at the point in the market now where they can really seize those opportunities. And what, an example of that is Altera Infrastructure LP. So we've just acted for the coordinating committee, which is a group of lenders who essentially have gone through a chapter 11 process with Altera Infrastructure. And again, they're an offshore service vessel company and they really, they've taken on debt at a time when Things were buoyant, the market was high, and then we're unable to service that stack of debt anymore. And so we worked with a group of lenders, um, six or seven of them, who essentially represented the entire secured lender group in order to then find a way to support Altera through that restructuring in a way that protected the banks and importantly protected them from having to take a haircut or actually write off any of their debt. And so Altera entered into their Chapter 11 pro process back in August, and they did so with a restructuring support agreement that we helped the lenders enter into, which protected them and ensured they got the deal that they wanted out of the restructuring process. And I'm pleased to say that Altera have just emerged from Chapter 11 uh, earlier in January this year, and are now moving forward and running their business and hopefully going on to win more contracts. A hallmark of that restructuring I think, was the speed and also how quickly the different parties achieve consensus. Exactly. So you can really tell the difference when the stakeholders engage with the company. And there really was a lot of that engagement to enable the company really to move through that restructuring process, some of which can take years, um, particularly in the US courts to move through it in sort of five months or so and come out the other side, able to just get on with winning contracts and, and building their business again. Do you perceive that there are a number of other companies sort of in the pipeline who will need to go through this process in order to take advantage of the improved market conditions? I think there may well be. I think a lot have already gone through that process. Um, but what we do sometimes see is companies needing to go through that process over several iterations in order to get it right. So there may well be more coming.